In other news, summer break almost over for children in the Charleston County School District. Now the district is determining how summer and other breaks could look like in the future. News News Jordan Sayopa is live at this studio and Jordan, tell us more about the options being considered. Carolyn Brendan, the Charleston County School District is looking at four different calendar options for next school year. Some include an earlier start date, but more breaks throughout the year. Now in the next few weeks, the community will weigh in on which option they prefer. More vacations or longer summers. The Charleston County School District is looking at various calendar options for next school year. There are four options that are not too, too different. They're, they're similar enough that it's nothing get, nothing's going to go off the rails. On Monday, the CCSD Committee of the Whole reviewed four different calendars for the 2024-2025 school year. A calendar committee crafted the options based on the 5,000 responses they received in a community survey. I think the highlight of the process for me was number two, developing that community survey. Calendar one is a traditional calendar with a mid-August start date, a five-day Thanksgiving break, a 10-day winter break, and a five-day spring break. The second option is a traditional calendar with a mid-August start date plus one more week of vacation, which would occur at the beginning of March. Well, I personally would probably stick to the one that's closest to what we have now. You know, I just like the routine. You kind of, your body is almost built for it. Calendar three would send students back to school in early August, but provide two additional weeks of vacation one being in October and another five days in February. Lastly, calendar four would also start the school year in early August, but would ensure the first semester ends prior to winter break and the school year would end in May. I think it's really important for students to be able, especially in high school, to be able to get all those exams done before um, winter break so they're not going in with dread or worrying about it. It will be up to the community to choose which option they think will work the best. What's important here is that we all have a voice, that parents have a stake in it, that teachers have a stake in it. Now, the board will consider moving these options forward for public input on August 28th. A public input survey will be the first will be open the first two weeks of September and staff will approve a calendar at the end of that month. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Jordan Sayopa. Count on two.